This one's spinning. Oh, it's spinning. Yep. Oh, it's going. Okay guys, so one of the things that I wanna do really quick, and I'm not gonna make this long and boring, is I wanna show you guys just a couple of tips and tricks for tip up fishing for walleyes. It is different than pike. There are a couple of things that you wanna make sure you're gonna do before you go out and you chase these fish through the ice. Let's jump right into it. First things first, you need a tip up. Now, what are the important things about the tip up that you're going to select? There's really one that sticks out above them all, and it is the ability to have the spool spin easily. So I'm just gonna show you a little demonstration here. All I have is a hook and a split shot. When I let go of this spool, it drops all by itself, okay? This is a very easy to pull spool. Now, why is that important when you're going out on the ice? Well, when you're targeting these walleyes, what they're gonna do is gonna come up, they're gonna grab that sucker, and if that spindle does not spin extremely easily, they're just gonna drop it right away. So number one thing, make sure you have a tip up that has a good, smooth spool. I really like these frables, but I also really love beaver dams. Tried, true, and they work amazing. Next little tip that works extremely good, in my opinion, much better than a marker bobber, is adding buttons. Add buttons to your line. When you mark your depth, all you have to do is slide this button to where you want it, and you'll have your marker all set, and you'll know where to go every time you drop back in. Next tip. Pay attention to the hooks that you are using. The big giant pike hooks are not typically going to be very effective on walleyes. So what I like to do is downsize my hook. You can see how small that hook is. I like to downsize my hook and I like to go with a glow hook. A glow hook will give you just a little bit of glow underwater, allow that walleye to pick up on that sucker just a little bit better as it's swimming down around the bottom. Last, but certainly not least when it comes to your rigging setup is the size of the split shot that you're going to use. The size of the split shot is a huge thing and here's why. When your sucker's down there and he's swimming around, swimming around, obviously when you're fishing walleyes, you wanna be very close to the bottom or close to the structure that you're fishing. This is what will happen if you have a sucker that can swim up and start pulling out line. A lot of times they don't need to even spin this spindle. What they'll do is they will swim. See if they swim and that thing turns, if they're swimming out in circles around the edges and you're letting line out that whole time. Now the next thing you know, your sucker is sitting on the bottom of the lake. You're not gonna have any action because that sucker pulled out too much line for you to be able to fish effectively. So that larger sinker keeps that sucker in place on the bottom where it's supposed to be, where it can do damage. Now, when it comes to lighting systems, there is a ton of options. As you know, you're often gonna be fishing walleyes either in dark or really low light situations. So personally, I like to use the vulture systems. Basically what you have is this system set up on your tip up. You've got a module around your neck that allows you to use up to six tip ups on the module. And it works like up to almost a quarter mile. So it's a great system. That being said, it is a bit more expensive. There are other great options on the market. Um, Frable makes a great firelight tip up that works very well. I do use some of those as well, but make sure you have a good lighting system. That way you're notified exactly when you have a tip up and you can go grab it. Oh, one more quick tip guys. Personally, I prefer using medium walleye suckers over medium shiners. And what, if you have a walleye sucker that's a little bit too feisty, all you have to do is take that tail and just clip the tail just a little bit. It'll take away some of that kicking power and that sucker will stay exactly where it's supposed to be. So medium suckers over medium shiners. And with that being said, hopefully you guys have some good tips to help you on the water. Let's go catch some walleyes. Guys, what's up? We are back at it again today, headed out on the ice. Pretty cool episode today because we're actually meeting up with some new folks on the water, which is always a blast. So you guys stay tuned, see who we're going to meet up with. We're going to go out tonight. Hopefully we're going to bang on some walleyes. I think it's going to be a great episode. I think you're going to love it. All right, so we're going to get our depth set here, guys. Typically for walleyes, you're gonna usually be within foot of the bottom. We'll just use our marker here, and that will be able to mark the mark the line. We're gonna give ourselves that that foot right there, and then we're gonna mark that foot spot. And we'll go ahead and we'll just reel that right up to the spool, and then we'll have our, our spot marked. And then we'll put an unlucky sucker minnow down, and uh, hopefully a big old walleye will decide to come along and grab a little afternoon meal. So that's what we're using right there, guys, just a medium walleye sucker, pretty typical for walleyes. Usually your options are either a medium shiner or a medium sucker. Go ahead, get that guy in there. Get our flag popped up. No 
numero uno set, on to the rest. So I kind of told you guys, gave you a little preview on the way in here that we were going to be fishing with uh, somebody new on the channel today. So if you want to go in and introduce yourself, Nick, let them know who you are, what your channel is so they can check it out. Well, my name is Nick. I do YouTube and it is under NB Edits. I do it with my buddy Brandon. He's not here because he's working. So we're all having fun fishing without him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I fish up in the Northwoods all the time and so do you guys. And it's really nice to get together actually and finally uh, get on top of some fish. Well, hopefully that's the plan at least. I mean, <laughs> we haven't had a flag yet, but we did just get set up, so. So basically this is the deal, guys. We're out here, we're up in the North Woods, um, you know, fishing lakes, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it takes a lot of time to do this. You know, it's not like you just go down, plop them out and boom, you're on fish. So it's a lot of time invested, uh, but it makes it that much sweeter when you do have success out on the ice. So I appreciate Nick giving me the invite and uh, hopefully we'll slay some walleyes tonight. Stay tuned. Well guys, good news. We just picked up one walleye, Nick just got that one, and now we turned around and on the opposite side, we have another tip up going. So let's go over here and see what we got happening. What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking it's probably another walleye considering I just caught one. Hopefully it's a little bit bigger. Mine was only about 16 inches. And uh, kind of disappointed because this lake produces some giants, but we're getting flagged. Maybe it's that pike coming back for redemption. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Don't jinx me like that. <laughs> Don't jinx me like that, you guys. <laughs> well, guys, Nick just caught a really nice walleye. Bobber, yeah. And the bobber's right there. <laughs> so there goes that clip. Yeah, that's a beaver dam one. This one's spinning. Oh, it's spinning. Yep. It's going. Got it. Oh, it's a big fish. Is it a big fish? Yeah. They usually are when they're running like that. What's going on, Jason? Uh, got a good one hooked finally, guys. It's been a tough night for for our percentage, but man, I bet you this has got to be flag number 16, 17. It's been crazy for action, but what's pretty wild is this snow actually just started and all of a sudden boom boom two big fish so if you guys don't pay attention to fronts and to pressure i highly recommend you do big head shakes big head shakes just running look at that guys just stripping line <laughs> big old head shakes wow it did take a ton it's of a line. big fish it's very very heavy oh yeah there he is oh yeah that's a big wall I do. Yeah, I'm taking tall. it easy. The head shakes are massive though, dude. It's crazy. Oh yeah, it's uh, yeah. Wait, there is no power in this one. What is it? Well, for some reason, you know, they usually want to come up and say hi. This one does not want to say hi. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. No, I, I told you this is, is the later it is. Oh my god. Yeah. I think that's bigger. He's than 25. fat. He's fat. He's definitely fat. Come on, Jason. Grab him. Come on. There you go. Oh, nice oh, fish. Oh, check dude. out that fish, guys. Absolute giant walleye here in northern Wisconsin. Look at the gut on that fish. Unreal. Beautiful. I bet you well, guys, <laughs> 16 tip ups in, and that's what we were looking for right there. Yeah, that fish has to be pushing 25 and a half, maybe. I would say 20, or over under on that God, 25. That mark. Be All right, guys, as always, with these big, beautiful, mature fish, we're going to go ahead and get it back in the water so it can continue to grow and uh, live out its life as a beautiful big walleye here in the north of Wisconsin. Look at that beautiful golden color on that fish. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's really important, guys, that when the fish are like this after their battle and they've got that lactic acid built up, that you don't just go shoving them back down the hole because basically they'll just go down to the bottom and they'll die. So you really want to hold on to them, get some oxygen flowing through their gills, and when they tense up and they show you they're ready to swim away, that's when you, you allow them to go. There she goes. See how she tensed up? 
swam away perfectly. Back down to the tip eye. Look at that. Oh my. Nice, Just long, back beautiful to the tail dip. stick. You know, guys, doing this up in northern Wisconsin is amazing. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's desolate. There's there's no cabins. You know, it's a snowmobile ride back, and catching fish like that is what it's all about. So. I hope you guys like watching that because I sure like catching it. Well guys, that's a wrap for today's video. What an adventure that we had today with Nick and Cody out chasing pike and walleyes up in the north woods of Wisconsin. We ended up having a snowstorm come through as you guys saw. And that snowstorm actually I believe is what triggered that big walleye that I caught in this video. Um, <clears throat> both Nick and I both caught walleyes. Mine was about seven pounds. Nick's was probably close to seven pounds. Um, and that was all in a 20 minute window right when that snowstorm really started to come down um, So it was a great day Unfortunately, we did not get as many big fish as we wanted to we did end up having like I don't know We probably had like 30 flags total um, But you know not every day is gonna be a, a banner day and that's what makes those amazing days on the water that much better So I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. If you like this video, please go down below hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well. And a big thing too for us guys is hit that notifications bell. That way, every time we upload, you will get a notification letting you know and you can be one of the first to see our next video. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, head on over, check us out on Instagram and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.